Okay, we're back and today we've got a question on the binomial distribution. So here it is, have a quick read. Uh, we've got a bag of bulbs which has 40 bulbs and uh, these bulbs are going to flower into blue or red flowers. And uh, the probability of flowering into a blue flower is 0 0.35 and what we need to do is then calculate a few different things over there. So have a quick read through it and then we'll catch up in a couple seconds to go through the answer. Right, oh, it is solution time, so let's get going. Now, the first thing we need to realize is we need to model this using the binomial distribution. So let's just say X here represents picking um, or having a bulb that develops into a blue flower. What we can say is that can be binomially distributed where there are 40 bulbs and the probability of getting a blue flower would be 0 0.35. So that there is our distribution. Next, what do we need to find out? Well, we need to find out the probability that we get exactly six flowers. So then what are we looking for? Well, we're looking for the probability that X is equal to six. But then how do we do this? Now, there's a couple of ways to do this, right? You can do this via um, just writing out some combinations and stuff. So if you think about it, right, there's 40 bulbs and you want six to be blue. So what you want is one, two, three, four, five, six blues, and then everything else red. So one, two, three, four, five, six, you get the point, right? There's gotta be another uh, 34 reds. So if you think about what you've actually got, you've got 34 reds and you've got six blues. And now how could you work out the probability of this happening? Well. The probability of being blue is just 0 0.35. So you can do 0 0.35 to the power of six. And then the probability of being red must be 0 0.65. Because together that has to equal one. And that can be to the power of 34. But then the one thing that you need to hit the spot here is this can happen in lots of different orders. From what I've drawn here, it shows that the first six flowers are gonna be blue. And then the other 34 are gonna be red. But that's not always true. Maybe the first one could be red. So this here can have lots of different combinations. And to find out how many combinations you have, you could use this. You could say there are 40 different bulbs. And what you're doing is choosing six to be blue. So that there can be said as 40, choose six. So you've got to use the combination button on your calculator for that. So that there's going to be 40. And then uh, there's choose button there combination button six multiply that by 0 0.35 0 0.35 to the power of six and then multiply that by 0 0.65 all to the power of 34. so we're looking for quite a small number there as you can see so that's going to be 3.07 times 10 to the minus three and there it is now that's one way of doing it in your calculator the other way would be quite simply to create a distribution. How do you do that? Hit the menu button, go to your distributions, and what we need is the binomial PD. Now there's option number four, so hit that. And I'm gonna go for variable. So what we need to do is enter in X, which is what we're looking for. We're looking for the probability that six are blue. So I'll put six in there. N is a total number of bulbs, that's gonna be 40 in our case. And P, which is the probability of being blue, is 0 0.35. Hit equals one more time. And there you go. You can see you get the exact same probability. So that there's going to be 3.07 times 10 to the minus 3. And there we go. The next part, part B, we're looking for the probability of getting five or less blue flowers. So what does that mean? That's the probability of X being less than or equal to five. How do we do this? Well, we can do this straight in the calculator. So here's what we can do. We need to go back to our distribution again. But this time what we need is the binomial CD, so a cumulative distribution. And we'll go for variable again, two. And now we need to enter in our info again. This time, what are we looking for? We're looking for five. So we hit five. And everything else stays the same, right? There's still 40. 
uh, volts and the probability is still 0 0.35 and that there gives us some answer which is one point will go to nine times 10 to the minus three okay and part c so now we're looking for the probability of getting more than 10 blue power so what are we looking for probability of greater than 10 but how do we get this now when we use the binomial cd function in your calculator what it does is it accumulates all of the probabilities up to a certain value. So for this here, what the calculator has done is added together x is 0, x is 1, x is 2, x is 3, x is 4, and x is 5. So it's worked out all of those probabilities and added them together for us. And so what we need to realise is to work out this probability here, we need to be a little bit clever. So here's what we do. We want the probability of 10 or more. So 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, blah, 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 all the way up to 40. So I put out all our possibilities here. And what we're looking for is more than 10. So that means 11 or more. So that's what we're looking for. But how are we going to get 11 or more? Well, what we could do is get everything up to and including 10 and then take it away from 1. So we could do this. So we could do 1, subtract, probability that x is less than or equal to 10. So now in my calculator, all I need to do is work out this probability here. So I can choose x here as 10. 40 stays the same. The probability stays the same. That value comes out as 0 0.12149. And so we just need to do one minus that. So I'm going to store that a back to there. One subtract alpha a. And there's our answer. So it'll be 0 0.879 to 366. And there you go. So it's absolutely vital that you know how to use your calculator to solve all of those binomial problems. So hopefully you've learned a thing or two from that video. And then I'll put another one out with some more questions, a little bit more tricky. So I hope to catch you there.